sure we're coming in live and we should be hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream today today is december 20th 2021 and we did a little survey on patreon and on our discord page and i asked people what they wanted to do today and uh, they chose comic books so we're gonna do comic book live stream it's been a while since we did a comic book live stream so i was happy with whatever came up uh, there are certain things that need to be dealt with but i'm glad to take a break because we've been we've been focusing on those things along uh, for a while now right so it's really nice taking a step back and doing comic books okay and what we're going to do today is i'm going to show you guys what i've been buying for the last few months i don't know how many we're going to go through uh, i got five short boxes here okay and i've cut back on my pull list because of um, um, mandates in our region we've had to reduce expenses because um, one uh, my partner is not being allowed to work because she does not uh, uh, <laughs> some of the things we've talked about in the previous live streams right i want to keep this non-political to a certain degree there are some readings that we're going to do that are a little political okay but i've cut back on my poll list so i thought it was a good time just to show you what i've been buying for the last few months and we'll start off with the most recent uh stuff and then i think we're going to work our way down to the oldest stuff so however far we go and i got a handful of readings here excerpts that um, i like to do what i did um, for a while i was doing this actually i was if you recall i did a comic book haul um, stream where i had bought a whole bunch of um, comic books for 25 cents so i bought a few hundred comic books for 25 cents okay and um i've been going through them for a while now i bought them a few months ago and slowly over the last few months what i was doing is taking out certain segments if i remember there are certain segments that i wanted to do that i totally <laughs> totally forgot and put them away and it's like oh i wanted to do a reading on that but for the ones that i remember i pulled out some segments and we got some readings to do here excerpts okay and uh, that's what the plan is for today now i'm not sure if i think the live stream might be cutting in and out maybe who knows oh i didn't connect up with the hard line the landline so hopefully we're not uh but because i don't see any chat coming in oh chat's coming in nice 25 so elder god how are you doing let me know if uh, we have any glitches okay because um I was getting all the stuff ready so i forgot to connect with the ether wire uh, so hopefully we're not going to get messed up um, and that's that's what the plan is for today um, aside from that i am on patreon if you want to follow this work you can follow this work on patreon uh, patreon.com forward slash chicho and for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support seamless stream for me awesome awesome pawn thank you for letting me know <laughs> usually i see a bunch of chat come up and I, I was like oh i'm doing all this stuff and i noticed that i didn't connect up with the ether wire so i'm like oops um, but it should be fine the router is right here so hopefully we won't have any glitches and we are live streaming on twitch Ch -ch -ch -ch. chat should pop up here somewhere because usually i have the chat on this side but i put over here because we're gonna have some pop-ups coming up okay actually it's better than usual better than usual awesome awesome right on right on uh what do you call it twitch likes comic streams <laughs> it puts it on a fast track <laughs> and for those of you that are supporting this work on uh twitch gang thank you for being here moss thank you for taking care of business i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on my svk gap parlor Bit cloud and getter and we do have a discord page you can come to our chat anytime you want type in exclamation mark discord and the discord link will pop up and all the links will be in the description of the videos after they have been uploaded 
we will be uploading the audio of this last stream even though we have visuals we have visuals we're going to do a little bit of excerpt reading so i think that'll be cool just to have that up uh we will be uploading the audio of this last stream to soundcloud.com for slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play. And we will be uploading this live stream on all the video sharing platforms that we're sharing content on. Everything goes on Bitchute, Rumble, and Odyssey. Select content goes on SensorTube, and this is comic books, and it will go on SensorTube. Gang, I'm going to take these down. nice i was running around a little bit i had to load on a software this morning i did something a little too fast press the button kill some stuff had to try to restore them and did it get a chance to restore them it didn't work so we kiss goodbye some files to the wind c'est la vie c'est la vie what should we do gang do you want to see some of the comic books i've been buying or do you want to do a reading or two or we can do a reading, look at some comics, look at some comics, do a reading. Maybe we should start off with a reading. Let's see, let's see. How long are we in? We're about 10 minutes in. We're about 7 minutes in. Let's do a reading. Let's do a reading. What say we? What say we? I got some obscure stuff here. Plus some mainstream stuff. Uh, no... Uh, not too many superheroes some superheroes <laughs> loving lost they can't be found again there's nothing lost they can't be found again recreated or kiss goodbye right or kiss goodbye game should we do a reading from forever people okay this is the second series these this is we're going to do a reading of Jack Kirby's Forever People. This is Jack Kirby's Forever People, but Jack Kirby uh, didn't work on this one. Uh, he created the first series, and it's part of our reading list. Twist. Twistomat. Twistomat. Mabat. How are you doing? <laughs> Thank you for the Twitch uh, Prime sub. And this series came out in 1988. And this is number one. Okay. And the creators of this are that well the creator is jack kirby uh, the person put it together but the writer for this series is j m the mat the matisse um paris column and carl kessler kessler are the illustrators john constanza the letter smart luck i have the uh, Kirby fourth world omnibus. Oh, dude, I didn't get it. I should have got that such a great Bronze Age comic indeed. I have all this complete series of forever people um, um, uh, New gods I got forever people new gods and the run on um, uh, Jimmy Dole uh, Jimmy <laughs> Jimmy uh, uh, Superman's pal uh, Jimmy Olsen and I have the run there with the first appearance of uh, Dark Star and stuff like that. The only run that I don't have for a complete set is um, Mr. Miracle, Miracle Man. So, unfortunately, but I sh I, I want to grab the Omnibus, really, and just do a read through the, through all of it together doing a weekend. That would be amazing. You had this issue, nice, 1988. <laughs> so let's let's have a read through it, okay? So this is the comic, and remember, I picked these up for like 25 cents, so I'm okay handling them rough, right? And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pop up the images here. I'm currently re-watching uh, Smallville Doomsday at the moment. Oh, the 10 season series? The, the series that came out in, uh, when was it? Late 2000s, mid 2000s to early 2010s i watched all the whole 10 uh 10 seasons it had a it had its ups it had its downs so take a look at this thing yeah uh 2001 to 2011 nice nice i did the i did a marathon on the 10 seasons it took me i think three months or something or two months maybe 
and it has it had its ups and it had its downs it, it wasn't bad it wasn't bad it wasn't bad gang let's read the first i think four pages of forever people <laughs> i found the uh, uh, I found the pages there's a couple of three comic books that I couldn't find the, the comic books online so I had to take pictures this morning and <laughs> load them up I started 10 days ago on season 8 10 days ago he went through <laughs> he went through 8 seasons or 7 seasons in 10 days oh my god that's a lot of Superman and Lois Lane funny funny check this out okay return the Forever People by Dementis Collins and Kesser down at the bottom over there over there <laughs> check this out so page one I don't think you'll be able to read it but I'm gonna read it for you while I look at the images okay just beyond infinity's edge lies the barrier its existence is unknown to all but a few and they guard the secret jealously for what lies beyond the barrier is forever And more and forever can be a dangerous place ah oh. oh hi I didn't hear you come up my name's Seraphan you know really far out yeah I guess I'm kind of a famous in certain circles what sure I'll tell you I love rapping about old times and believe me man those really were the days what a hit it won't hurt ya cosmic cartridges I call them great stuff got one for every occasion this blue one's my favorite just let it sit there in your hand close your eyes concentrate and this instant oneness you know out of your body and off into the universe what oh sure the old days well where do you want want me to the beginning right makes sense to me i guess the beginning was out there the big beyond over the rainbow you ever see that movie guess not earth's a long way from here and right the story stay cool man i'm getting to it it's starting a place called super town hang on a sec if i use the orange one i can show you what i'm talking about there give me another second to focus in and there you go man super town at least that's what we use to call it most of the most of the straits they just call it new genesis hey heard of that too huh you must get around <laughs> awesome 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 fun fun little intro to a series and i think this ran for 12 episodes uh 12 uh yeah 12 issues not episodes issues 
I'm just going to read the chat uh, that I missed. Uh, first time chat. Uh, the silencer. Quick, uh, quick suggestion in case it helps. Why not set up a top down view camera on your desktop, zooming in and out of each panel would be awesome. Thanks. Yeah, actually, the silencer. I have a lot of readings that I've done uh, exactly that way. I was actually one of the first people on sensor to on YouTube that started uploading readings in that format. And we've done a lot of readings. If you go Chicho uh, comic book readings, um, there's a lot we've done, right? Uh, because one of the reasons I'm not doing that is because these are just excerpts that are we reading. I'm going to show you some of my poll list. So there's going to be comic books I want to show you as well. Nicholas, how you doing? First time chat. Oh, Ruse. Thanks, man. My pleasure. <laughs> Hope you're having a good time. <laughs> what up, peeps? Crack. How's it going? I smell comics. You do indeed. You do indeed. That's standard for comic reading streams. This is just segments. This is just segments. Yeah. And gang, don't forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube. Good afternoon, Despair. How are you doing? How's life, brother? Ronnie, how's life? I watched the new Spider-Man movie and I loved it. Yeah, I've heard. Uh, I forget who it was on Discord that told us. It's supposed to be really good. So that's pretty cool, man. Looking forward to it. I watched the trailer as soon as the person mentioned that. I was like, okay, that looks fantastic. Uncle Barry, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho. Been a while. Hope you're doing well. Doing well, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The silencer. Awesome. Thanks. Mod party. Mod party. <laughs> first time chat dragons how are you doing yeah it's not your first time chat you've been here a while despair doing well brother for some reason i have a case of hives hives you've been eating something allergic to maybe but i also got my nintendo switch today nice uh life gives and takes life gives and takes pond um we could reprint text copies uh like when we were at school and have teachers present the story to the class. The only Peggy mentioned it. Da, da, da. Gang, should I show you some of the comics I bought recently? This first, I'm going to show you a whole, whole short box, almost a whole short box. Okay. And this is going to be most likely what I've bought in the last couple of months. Okay. So let me make sure I got the right one here. Oh, it's backwards. Let me flip it around. Let me flip it around. Let's put forever people. Let's put forever people there. Let's bring this over. Yeah. And I put like bubble here so the comics don't fall over, right? As I fill them. As I fill them. despair i've been starting my comic collection lately any recommendations for how to best store comic books best way to store them you know what the comic boxes are a little bit on the expensive side or they could be cheap side i guess uh comic book boxes uh, just a regular comic book boxes are handy uh i used to buy the large ones but new comic books they're heavy the paper is really heavy so after carrying a few of the long boxes uh, of new full of new comic books uh, modern comic books i decided to go with short boxes that way you're not breaking your back so do that uh you want to you don't want it to be too hot you don't want it to be too cold a uh, cold it's it's okay um uh, not too much humidity uh just treat them well and bag and board and bag and board uh, right I mean, pre-print the comic text. Pre-print the comic text. Pre-print. Oh, well, I do. Do I do I manage some? Wow, we do votes on them. First time chat. The fridge. Hey, Chicho. If you know comics, 
uh, you would know something about Astro Boy. Yeah, for sure. I got a couple of the three of the Astro Boy uh, da, 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 series. I bought them super cheap. Uh, and I believe is, oh, I forget who wrote it. Was it Kurt Bar Barsnick? B Busick? Astro Boy was Kurt B Busick, isn't it? Busick? I, I can't pronounce names, man. I'm so bad with them. Watching Chicho get out on the lawn box things takes me back. 2016, I know it's crazy. A lot of good workout, good workout. First time chat. Iki Aoki. Yo, dude, I don't know about you, but it looks very cool. Cool. Glad to have you here. Solo Salen, first time chat. Hello, hello. Welcome to our live stream. I'm already reading Hellstorm. Nice. And it's very good. Is that a Hellstorm new series? I have the older one. I haven't picked up the new series. Shadow Nova. First time chat. He sounds like someone who is in their 20s. Me? I'm, I got, by the way, I got the bushy look. This winter look for me. I go bushy. Here. Here's, a, here's, here's some comments I picked up yesterday. I saw this. I had to grab some extra copies. Okay. So this came out yesterday. Oh, Osamu uh, Kezuka. Osamu Kezuka. He's the he's the author of Astro Astro City. Really? Uh, wait a second. Astro Boy is the manga. Astro City is the city where it's all superheroes. Is it not? I must be thinking about the right series. Oh, Astro Boy. Yeah, is the author of Astro Boy. That's right. I thought you said Astro City. Did you say that? Oh, no, you said Astro Boy. Astro Boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The manga. I've read a little bit of it. Right? And his buddy, the big robot. Uh, no, you did say boy. Uh, I read it as city. Um, my apologies. Astro City is what you were thinking of. Yeah, yeah. Astro City. <laughs> Me and names suck okay gang take a look at this thing i saw this yesterday okay and i had to grab it it wasn't on my pull list check this out mother effing goose mother effing goose from aftershock comics right this is a tribute to scarface and scarface is one of the greatest series ever oh iki oi oiki you're reading the Drawings are bestial. Oh, reco recopilation is the old series. So it's the old series. Cool. Astro Boy mangas are damn near impossible to find. Uh, they're pretty expensive for what I understand. <laughs> What's that? This is Mother F and Goose. <laughs> and here's the. Uh, I bought two copies of. I had to do it. I bought two copies of the Scarface variant, and it had a second variant. It's the Pulp Fiction variant. <laughs> How to get it. First time chat. Matthew, how are you doing? Matthew the Kar Kabira. Hey, so you read comics on stream? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done a lot of them. So I have to get this. The description of this, I'm going to read you this part. I'm going to read you this part. Ready? The three little pigs are gluttonous casino owners. Little Miss Muffet is a hard-nosed cop with arachnophobia. The three blind mice are a col a colorally impaired assassins. Puss is Puss in Boots is a feline face scumbag. This is the mother this is not the mother goose you know. We will make you a promise. This is the book that will ruin your childhood. Sorry, kids. <laughs> That's what it says here. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Huckleberry. I haven't thought uh, about a comic book since I was a kid, but I'm uh, looking for a new hobby, uh, passion. It's an expensive hobby, brother. And I would love to get into them. If I was going to buy one comic book, what would you recommend? Uh, what do you like, Huckleberry? What do you like in terms of reading? 
What do you like reading? Please, Chisho, don't use the word variant. <laughs> I know. Alternate cover. Alternate cover. <laughs> Nickel, how are you doing? Let me put these away. Let me show you what I've been buying for the last little while. Okay, these are just fillers. They're just boards. Right? And we're just going to flip through them, right? Because it's basically a short box. So we're going to be have to be. Because I wouldn't mind doing more readings. Cheryl, how are you doing? X, how are you doing? X, X, send me your mailing address. I was looking, unless you sent it and I totally missed it. Send me your mailing address so I can mail you the comic book. Okay. Where where does it go? Amazing. And by the way, for those that don't know, we did an auction and X1 uh, Amazing Spider Man 361. First full appearance of Carnage. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've sent out almost all everything that everyone almost won. There's only three stuff left. No, there's more stuff that's going today, but three stuff I still have to package. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of stuff. How long have I been collecting? 30 plus years. I've been collecting 30 plus years. A long time I even published comic books for a while thank you doing well ah, Chicho I have to keep working in my university homework I'll see you later nice to meet you nice to meet you as well Iki Aoki thank you for popping in whenever I see a package I think is this from Jinjo? <laughs> nice finally open mind uh, and I'm still oh, awesome, Cheryl. Cheryl got the Axes and Allies board game. Check this out. This is uh, Batman Fear State Alpha, number one. Okay. Nice cover. Yeah, yeah, Elder God, yours is on its way. It came with air. I sent I sent the stuff to the UK and Brazil with air. <laughs> like they are expensive. <laughs> crazy the uh, if i was going to send it ground they said it would take up to six months the supply chain is so broken it was going to take six months to get to you guys in the uk so i said the hell with that joe chicho what's the most valuable comic i don't know wow i know this isn't ultra i don't know who this is actually <laughs> i haven't read this one here's exo man of war number nine the new series Okay, Valiant Comics. Eddie G. Chicho, been a bit since I've uh, caught a live stream. I hope all... This is Hulk number two, the new series. This just came out yesterday. Same with the EXO. Uh, I hope all has been well, brother. And happy holidays to you and yours. To you as well, uh, Eddie. Eddie. Okay. And thanks for popping in. Comic bugs. Good thing to pop in on. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> no X. <laughs> Nicholas, how's it going? This is the uh, this series I'm picking up, man. I picked up uh, one, two, and this is issue number three. Billy the Kit, Billy the Kit. I love the first cover, and we should see it going through this. So it's, it's a new series, independent publishers. Nicholas, is this a new haul? Uh, this is what I've been buying on a weekly basis for the last few months. So I got four. Uh, five short boxes here so it's not a new haul it's a it's my pull list on a weekly basis right and i've cut back a lot as you know why right this is balzic and i've i've canceled some of these titles i've canceled balzic with this issue basilic ba ba basilic okay colin bunn joe chicho We've got the Lord of the Rings book that was published in the early 1960s. No idea what edition it is or how uh, how much is worth. Uh, look in the front cover. See the copyright stuff in a book? Now, if it's an original printing, it might say original printing, first printing, or it might just say have one copyright on it. That means it's most, most likely original printing. If there are multiple copyright dates, that's how many printings there are. 
it might be second i think it might be more than that berserker keanu reeves right joe it might be older i think lord of the rings came out in 1930s Whoop. god killer number one from from black mask studios okay beautiful cover I pick up a lot of black mask. Okay. I like them. Here's another black mask. White. I picked up the series black. And I have loved it from the get-go. What a cover on that god. Yeah, the, the God Killer cover is amazing. And I love these covers as well. This is from Black Mask Studios. They put out a series called Black and this is the series called white very raw okay joe chicho it isn't in great condition unfortunately oh unfortunate here's another exo man of war number eight valiant comics the last book you'll ever read from vault this is number four some of these books I've had to cancel, reduce. Uh, we're going reducing uh, expenses. The Department of Truth. I've been picking this up from the get go. Great series, and I have issue number two, the alternate cover, with uh, it's the one in twenty five where there's a baby being feasted on. It's pretty serious cover. I I really wanted that one. After this, we'll do another reading. Ah, this series is great. Gang, if you haven't seen the animated series, watch this series. Motherfuckers, number six. This is a, there's a movie. I started picking up the series because, uh, because of a movie. Okay. Uh, I think it's on Netflix. It's an animated series. The original comic book was French, came out in France okay and they adapted it into an animated series and this is the first english version uh, series and this is issue number six the artwork's phenomenal and the series is amazing here's another variant cover okay elder god 1954 first edition 1954 wow i thought it was late uh it was earlier than that Deep Flake, how are you doing? Venom number two, the new series that came out. Pawn, the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings were written with World War One in mind. Oh, that's why I'm confusing it. I can only imagine how much longer the book would have been if uh, written about World War Two. Indeed, uh, Hulk number one, the new series. Nico, Lord of the Rings were written between 1937, oh, 1937 and 1949, but the first book was published in 1954. That's what it is. Because I know C.S. Lewis was reading some of the original drafts of it, so those must have been the drafts. Serial by Terry Moore. 1954, wow, wow, wow. Harbinger from Valiant Comics, new series. Have you seen No Way Home yet? No Way Home, No Way Home. Um, I don't think so. Which what's what's that one about? Billy the Kid, number two. Is a is a is a rabbit in a Western world. Eskiel, how are you doing? How is life, brother? Nice to see you. Cherry Bomb, number number. 18 i believe no this is mature 18 what number is this track four number four cherry bomb number four this is black uh, the studio's black caravan oh no way home no no i saw the trailer i haven't seen the movie uh i've heard it's supposed to be fantastic no i haven't read it cheryl i haven't had time 
I haven't had time, Cheryl. Uh, I started reading Monstrous, the trade paperback, and I read uh, about a few pages in. I put it down, and I need to read that. But I got, I've got i been caught up with economics and politics, of course, right? Uh, Strange Academy, number 13. I did, really, and I'll show you the first uh, uh, issue as well. I should have it here. Uh, it looks great, and the description looked fantastic on it. Venom number one. Oh, here's issue number one of Billy the Kid. I'll show you. Venom number one, right? New series. I picked up two issues, two copies of Billy the Kid number one. Looks great. I really like it. And I read the description on it before I placed the order uh, from previews, and I like the, the, the feel of it, right? Joe Chicho, token. Uh, recognized that England didn't have a mythology so he wrote Lord of the Rings intending uh, to be a mythology for England really England has huge mythology doesn't it or is that just Celtic Irish uh, and whatnot Vev beat Vev Vev I don't know Vev what's Vev here's here's uh, three other comics uh, this is a new this is the 25 cent books that I read uh, Dark Horse Comics presents uh, issue 789 uh, I just read these uh, recently so they ended up being here and this is the first appearance of the star and these I picked up for 25 cents right fantastic right fantastic that is like NFT comics oh I heard about that I read the news on them. Is that what they're called? Vev, a uh, Vevi, Vivi, Colmec. Hi, Chicho. Do you like the new uh, Valiant books? I like the covers on them. I haven't had a chance to read the new. Uh, I love the stuff from uh, uh, 2012. 2012 stuff was poof, the bomb. Some of the greatest comics I've ever read. Right from the relaunch. Right, Harbinger, Exo, uh, uh, Archer, and Armstrong. Fantastic. This new issue starting up i've been buying them i buy all things valiant right but i haven't had a chance to read them the last rye series i really liked i didn't read every issue but i read as much as i could fantastic really good series uh i look forward to reading the whole thing uh so i really liked it yeah robin Hood, <laughs> anyone king arthur excalibur like england has huge mythology right maybe the problem is not having just one yes Vivi has some of the first Marvel comics as and so they're calling it Vivi not NFT I just I just assumed they were just NFTs that's what they're referring it to Daredevil beautiful series I love these co uh, covers and in this Electra takes over Daredevil's role Daredevil I think Matt gets thrown into uh, prison yeah Colmic the uh, Valiant 2012 stuff is absolutely phenomenal oh gang I bought this this is a comic book haul I'm about to show you ready for this ready for this I bought this uh, including shipping it came out to like eight bucks Dave Stevens cover Dave Stevens cover jungle comics number one from the midnight late 1980s or early 1990s crack you like this <laughs> it just ended up being here right yeah i heard they're putting their stuff on uh, as nfts right collectible marjorie finnegan temporal criminal And is the money going to Marvel and DC? Is is like is that who's going to to Disney? This is Mum, Mother of Madness, and this is written by the girl from um, what was it called? Uh, oh my God, I forgot the name. I think they get royalties. They get royalties. Okay, Emil Clark. Uh, Oh my gosh, she was in the 
like most popular series game of thrones game of thrones it's written by the dragon lady from game of thrones motherfuckers number five so disney gets money from that motherfuckers number five beautiful artwork beautiful artwork i'm picking up the the alternate covers for this the ones that go for cheap xo man of war number seven number seven harbinger number one i actually like this cover a lot thank you for follow oh, can he lilo can he laugh out loud lolo hulk number 50 this was the last issue of the last series with ewig right twitch algorithm just turned on like notifications that's so cool i didn't know she released a comic is that marvel it's uh no i think it was independent it was a three issue run let me see it's oh it's image it's image comics and this was the last issue and it's a cool cover who doesn't like mushrooms and dancing girls tripping out <laughs> in a bottle what a mushroom in a bottle pretty colors i wonder what this is about i haven't read it ninjack number four no mfers broken souls ballad black caravan this is issue number four of white and by the way this series they're limiting the first prints which are all the ones that i've got i signed up for it early on through my comic book store uh local comic shop so these are all the original first prints and then there's a second print these are all limited to 1200 uh, not 1200 2500 issues um, copies so hard to find rare okay i don't know why they did that when i placed the order i didn't think that's what it was what's the best book you ever read what's the best book i love i love i love uh one of my favorite books that i read multiple times uh lobo the last zarnian and i have the trade paper back here too where is it oh i can't i can't see it it's here somewhere oh yeah the, the, oh there it is <laughs> this if you like humor if you like humor this is a collection okay this is by keith giffen alan grant volume one this contains lobo the last zarnian one of the funniest reads i've ever had uh and <laughs> and lobo paramount christmas special if you want to have a fun read uh they're good okay but aside from that uh the 2012 archer and armstrong series from valiant comics one of the funniest series i've ever read one of my top favorite 10 series of all time uh solar man of the atom the first 10 issues from uh the early 1990s pre-unity 10 of the best issues you'll ever read uh there's a few there's a few i have very few manga oh akira i've read all of akira phenomenal phenomenal one of the best reads you'll ever do okay um tekken takirin i can't pronounce it japanese i apology serial uh, black and white translated uh, phenomenal manga department of truth oh the mfr detected in comic stream are you serious that's what oh man berserker that's what it did and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange 
Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube. I guess we better call it MFers because we're going to hit it up more of them. Night of the Cadillac. Thank you for the follows, gang. Apologies if I'm not catching them. Nobody's child. Nobody's child. Moon Knight, number three. This is first appearance of Hunter Hunter's Moon. Moon Knight sort of goes wacko or something in a full moon or something like that. I can't, I don't know. Blood Moon. I picked up uh, four, four copies of it. Okay. Sometimes you do. Nightwing, 84. Warms, warms, awesome. Ah, oh, furry freak brothers. Aha. Uh -huh. One Steve Richer. I wasn't interested in the fur fur freak brothers comics, but it is an old to be platform rated TWMA 2020 update. I have Doctor Atomic series geared towards the stoner crowd, which I really like. Yeah, I have some of the original uh, Freaky Freak, uh, Fury Freak, Freak Brothers. <laughs> I love them. I love them. They were awesome. They were awesome. I've been picking up this Bunny Mask. I haven't read it. I love the covers. Aftershock. Exo Man of War number six thank you for the follows gang by the way do you have any of the newbie going no i don't i don't i don't think so anyway exo man of war number five cherry bros blossom number two thank you for the follow steve steve richer v e schwab extraordinary this um, i was picking up i had to drop it um uh, is i believe it the story f centers around tesla nikola tesla uh, it's in relation to a girl that was having a relationship with him don't quote me on it i haven't read it but that's why i'm picking it up retro man and why I just came across this stream and used to be a big comic book fan. Awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do on streams and schedules? Um, we sort of go all over the place. MFers, right? I do a lot of comic book stuff. I teach mathematics. We have math streams. We do personal finance. Um, we talk about movies. I do comic book readings. Uh, we do comic book hauls. Okay. Uh, we talk about current events, uh, food. I do cooking. We do cooking streams. So we do a whole bunch of stuff. Basically, it's me sharing what I love, what makes me happy in my life. And everything really is layered on mathematics because we're going to take all this information and create math modules which we've already had right to be able to teach anybody that wants to learn mathematics at least all the way to pre-calculus um, and first level calculus first year calculus and statistics so a lot of the stuff like for example the comic book stuff we've been doing i've been doing comic book hauls and then we've been looking at how much those comic books we've bought have gained in value relative to when we bought them so we're doing return on investment so we're doing personal finance math videos in relation to comic books looking at we're doing a lot right basically filling the void 
that our education system has left because as far as I'm concerned, our education system is horrendous. And I know because I've been teaching mathematics for 20 plus years and it's just garbage what centralized education does. Music, lyrics, movie reviews, serial. Terry Moore. Marjorie Finnegan, temporal cr criminal. Firefly, brand new verse. Uh, there's a new Firefly series coming, okay? And like TV series, and this is the comic book series based on it. Uh, Steve, can you riff a little about where and when math originated? Where mathematics is innate ability that we have. It's a human ability, and mathematics is just a language right and how did written languages come to be or how did language come to be natural languages came to be natural languages came to be because of our need to be able to communicate information written languages came to be because we were acquiring so much information that we weren't able to pass on the information accurately from one generation to the next right so we came up with written languages okay and mathematics being a language came about because our understanding of the language of the system we came up with to be able to quantify the world progressed to a level where we couldn't retain all the information and we had to be able to uh, create symbols because mathematics originally was being done as written down in text like a natural language right and then slowly mathematicians created symbols to represent operations right to represent sort of things you did in mathematics and that's how the language of mathematics came to be and it's grown to a level where we can stream live wow right phenomenal phenomenal joe chicho talking about mathematics i read the other day that a woman wearing heels applies more pressure to the ground than an elephant really yikes that can't heels if I, if I was a woman, I, I would not be wearing heels. I can honestly tell you that. Dark blood. The uh, cereal is fantastic. I flipped through it. I read uh, a little bit of it. Not much. Elder God. What? I know Elder God. Heels. That being said, I do have cowboy boots. Here's white chapter two. I do have cowboy boots and cowboy boots have a little bit of a heel and it feels good walking in a little bit of a heel. Gives you a little oomph, if you know what I mean. Mr. F. Ward, as far as I know, animals can math as well. Indeed, Put a, I, my example I use, I don't know if this is true or not. And I love this, uh, uh, you promised me darkness. Uh, I use this example to tell people that mathematics is an innate ability. Sit a monkey down at the end of a table, put one banana on one side and a bunch of bananas on the other side. I'm willing to bet that the monkey goes for a bunch of bananas, not one. So I bought a couple of copies of this. I don't know why I bought a couple of copies of this, but I did. Harley Quinn annual. I think it's the first appearance of somebody. Steve, thanks. My pleasure. All about comf comfortable shoes. All about comfortable shoes. I like this cover. It's metallic cover. Lalier Star. Beautiful artwork as well. Mosu, thank you. Mosu o Josie. Jos. First time chat. The axiomatic math we know today was stabilized by the greek i believe i think it's uh based on five axioms if i'm not mistaken you promised me darkness daredevil 34. you'll always recognize jeff lemire's artwork it's like stick figures may's book
The Amazing Spider-Man 73. Resilient metallic cover as well. Eve, this is supposed to be a really good series. The artwork looks beautiful. The last book you'll ever read. MFers. MFers. <laughs> Watch the animated movie. You will not regret it. It's beautiful. Yeah, Spider Man. Cheryl, I had to look up about the heels. Apparently, 15 times more pressure. 15 times more pressure than an elephant? No, Cheryl. Or 15 times more pressure than normal. Ronnie, is there a comic book shop you go to nowadays? Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a comic book shop that I have a pull list. Red Room. White, chapter three. Is it Amazing Spider-Man or Ultimate that is the original storyline? It's Amazing Spider-Man uh, is the first. And his first appearance was in uh, uh, Amazing Fantasy number 15. Uh, how accurate were discussions of uh, comic books in the Big Bang Theory? I don't know. I didn't watch the Big Bang Theory. I wasn't really into it. Ronnie, do you think these comic shops also have a collection that they never sell? Oh, for sure. Most comic book owners invest in comic books. You invest in what you know. They have comic books that they've been collecting. Like, I've never met a comic book owner that does not have MFers, does not have their own comic book collection. That they invest in i never met one okay oh, what about an elephant in heels haha <laughs> what about an elephant in heels oh my god that would be insane so that's one short box okay mr f with in one area i can see because an elephant's foot is so f big it distributes the pressure in a wider area so I'm assuming by the way I'm assuming the 15 times pressure of an elephant is at the tip of the heel not at the bottom of the heel of whoever's wearing it right so because it's I forget what the formula is for it um, it's not all over R cubed it can't be it's got to be over R squared uh, so it increases and decreases uh, a lot I'm assuming it's much less the where it's touching the uh, the person's heel must be on the concrete okay. first time chat James Chardon I've watched all the VODs but never been here for a live yet ah awesome glad to have you here James live is cool live is cool the video on demands is awesome as well the uploads after the fact but live of where we're interacting live right it's super cool beef monster munch first time chat it's nice to have phy uh, physics professors in chat haha <laughs> awesome okay gang i'm gonna close up this this short box and then we're gonna do another reading okay we're gonna do another reading good to be here awesome awesome also their knees are backwards elephant knees are backwards oh trippy i didn't know that match kilo the jello match kilo the jello first time i actually get to see stream live also <laughs> lots of lots of new people here again Thank you for popping in, by the way. 
we've been going heavy with the comic book stuff, right? With the with the other stuff. So it's nice doing a comic book stream. Let me close this off. Let me put this push it back here. Let's do a couple of readings, gang. Okay. What's your favorite Spider-Man movie? Uh, you know what? From what I understand, it's going to be this first, this one that's out now. The trailer looked amazing. And from what I've heard everyone say, uh, th it's an amazing uh, movie. So I'm looking forward to it. Laugh out loud box. Chicho, do you have some easier math videos? Your math videos are too complex. Yeah, for sure. Laugh out loud box. Go. The first set of math videos I put out. Uh, number th the third one go to my language of mathematics series start from all the way down i start off with the real number set and it's big chalk graffiti it's not asmr but it's a graffiti style um the pressure is just force over area but area is r squared joe areas r squared so sure but the area we have to break down right that's why it's the r squared in the bottom right if it's a circle it's it's a squared right so force over area but it's the squared is in the bottom so that's why it goes up and one of the things i've heard is uh, uh if you want to punk puncture a hole into a barrel uh like a keg full of beer or whatever you want one way you could do it if you don't have the tools is to build a pipe vertical pipe right small and fill it full of water and at the bottom boom, you'll punch a hole through the barrel that's what i've heard i haven't tried this as far as the mathematical sorry about that laugh out of the box i got distracted uh we start talking physics uh go to do a search for uh chicho and or go to my uh sensor tube uh channel youtube channel and there's a series called the language of mathematics and those are the first type of series that i started and i build it up from the real number set we work our way up we go through addition subtraction multiplication and what the real number set is all about okay i'm missing a lot of chat gang my apologies there's some chat anyway this isn't the stream for it but vive la resistance vive la resistance james indeed <laughs> oh you want to read resistance let's read resistance okay gang since you brought up resistance uh which one of these is a resistance type of deal which one of these is a resistance type of deal i got a couple of resistance type of deals let's read okay check this out i got a reading from sisterhood of steel okay if we get a chance we'll read that we got a reading from this is resistance yes 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 this is resistance gemini blood we're going to do a reading from this okay uh we've got sandman as well but let me do let me do this one okay it's a one pager this one we'll do a couple of readings okay since vive la resistance or at least explanation right so this series came out in what year did it come out small print small print small print 1996 okay it is written by uh christopher hens uh, artist tommy lee edwards okay let's have a read through this here's the cover and let me find the right picks oh this is one i had to uh actually take picture my, my camera so the photo quality might not be great this is the cover right and we're just going to read one page beef monster munch you're yelling question what do you think of ppl in general making up their own science ppl i don't know what ppl is people making up their own science i don't know people what's ppl and this is the page we're going to read it's the one two three four five six seventh page in okay seventh page in i'm gonna read this ready new san francisco quote okay throughout the reign of human societies 
the so-called 99 to 1 rule has governed te technological achievement. Although the ratio itself may vary from culture to culture, the essential validity of the theorem cannot be disputed. Whether applied to ancient Sumer, the Holy Roman Empire, 19th century European and American uh, smokestack civilizations, on the present geo-corporate nation state of 2094, 99 to 1 remains timelessly true. The guy's going up in the elevator, so I'm going to read the bubble there. Okay. Floor 1, floor 160, floor 170, floor 180. Back to here. Quote, simply stated, in order to support 1% of a population in advanced technological stat status, the other 99% of that world must exist in relative poverty. Just how relative depends upon the degree of wealth concentrated within the society's uppermost classes. In all cases, the richer the rich, the poorer the poor. The bubble. And it's a dog talking. I've been working on the railroad all my life. Li live long days. Dougie's singing. So that's cool. This is from 1996. Okay. That's a very tall building. That's a very tall building. Should we do another Vive la Resistance? Vive la Resistance? Beef Monster Munch. Ah, oh, UK today. There are protesters against... Oh, we're not going to talk politics, brother. You want to know my opinion about politics? You got to you gotta check out some of the other politics stuff. <laughs> Unused time. First time chat. Hey, first time chatting live. Hope you have a good stream from Baltimore. Ah, salutations, Baltimore. And salutations from uh, the west coast of Canada. Ah, you wanted to see another one? I'm going to read you another political one. <laughs> Actually, I got a couple of political stuff here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read you. Which one should I read you? I'm going to read you. Ready for this? Ready for this? Casper, Astro Comics. This is comic books that they gave away on American Airlines, right? James says, yes, we have a lot of resistance. What is your most rare comic book? My rarest comic book? I have some comic books that are special. They're not, exp they're not the most expensive. There just isn't very many copies of them. Um, you know, there's one that someone sent me as a gift. It's a tribute to Rye number zero uh, from this artist from Portugal. And there's only 25 copies of it, right? But it's not that expensive, but it's, it's precious to me right precious to me it's first time chat hunter huntertainment hello from australia hello australia how are you doing how are you doing check this out astro comics your favorite comic book characters on american airlines right <laughs> unused time appreciate all the relaxing videos it's funny but it makes makes math more appealing uh for it to be relaxing it does it does indeed for sure i agree with you 100 percent one of the first things i do and this is something i've done for over 20 years of teaching mathematics i try to make sure people are comfortable people are 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 have a good environment to learn math in right uh talk to them kindly listen to them and if you want to know uh, I, I believe the best strategy for teaching uh, anything is first of all you got to read um, you have to read um, 
Krishnamurti's education and the significance of life. So this is from this comic. Unfortunately, I didn't take a picture of the cover. I did, but I had problems with it. I ended up deleting files and stuff. But I do have a picture of this. I'm going to upload it. It's just a picture of, uh, that I took from my camera just this morning. Magic. Magic, magical and jello, magical and jello. You are interested in comic books outside U.S., Italy, France, and Belgium, for example. Have a well-established comic book industry, indeed, indeed. Tintin Comics. My oldest comic books I have are Tintin Comics, Belgium. Tintin Comics, Belgium, I believe. Right? Yeah, Belgium. Tintin Comics must be Belgium, right? Um, and. Uh, Asterix, um, the little guy and the big guy, <laughs> they're awesome. <laughs> oh, let me bring this up. Let me bring this up. Let me bring this up. Casper. Boop. So we're going to read this. So Casper's been chasing after this guy. He's a magician and he's hoards money and stuff, right? So this is one of the chapters after he's been chasing him for a while, right? Richie Rich and Richie Rich is with them, right? Richie Rich, the poor little rich boy, and the friendly ghost Casper. Okay. So Casper falls into the pit. Right? Oh wow. Look at all the treasure. And that's sort of a splash page showing you what's going on, right? And on the top right up here, boop, I'm gonna read from there. It's full of treasure chests down there. Perhaps we found the whiz. Foop. Casper gets sucked down. Richie Rich and their friend, the old guy, looking, whoa, what's going on? Oh, the little wizard grabs him by his feet, pulls him down. Money going around everywhere. Come to steal my treasure, eh? The wizard says. I don't accept paper money. <laughs> And then Casper asked the question, are you the wizard of the wealth, right? <laughs> and this is this is money that Casper, uh, I think these guys were grabbing, right? So the political economic part of that is the wizard's pretty damn smart. <laughs> he doesn't accept fiat currency. <laughs> I thought that would be funny. I thought that would be funny. I thought that would be funny. Uh, fun. Stephen Hawking's radiation. What is the math? Stephen Hawking's radiation. It just says, uh, in for black holes. Uh, I read this a long time ago, so I'm going by memory, like 15 years ago or something like this. But basically, at a black hole, matter does not disappear, but there is energy actually coming out of the black hole when matter gets sucked past the event horizon or it goes into the black hole and there's energy being released and you can measure that radiation that's what uh hawking's black uh radiation is i believe anyway <laughs> that wizard mr f word says that wizard is deep into blockchain <laughs> funny we don't take cash use your card oh my god oh my god I don't think the wizard wizard too smart for that. Uh, what else should we read? Last one. Let's read a one pager from Sandman. This isn't politics related. This is, it's a great page. It's a great page. And this is uh, Sandman. Uh, which issue was this? This was issue twenty three, I think. Uh, is a reprint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. Oh, here. Let me take this down. Casper down. Boing. So this is a $1 reprint of Sandman, the original series from Neil Gaiman of issue number 23, right? And I have this I have this issue, the original, but DC was putting these out, $1 grab comics and Marvel and Image does them and a lot of other people do them as well. Publishers do them. And I felt like reading a Neil Gaiman story, so I picked picked this up and read it. 
Uh, now, I'm not sure if I bought this for a dollar or if this was in the 25 cent bin, right? And before we get into reading of this gang, don't forget free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Sensor 2. <clears throat> let's read this and this is a one pager that's the cover for it okay love cheap comics my favorite comics me too me too me too me too so the story let me read you the build up to the story right the story to this is uh lucifer morningstar he's closed the gates of hell he's kicked everybody out everyone out of hell get out get out get out right so there's an issue with people coming back to life when they die they're not dying people aren't dying i think that's what's going on i forget but i think that's what's going on and dream right one of the endless right is trying to figure out what's going on in hell right and he tracks down lucifer and they're having a conversation okay and here's a page and we're going to start reading from the top on the the corner over there and we're going to go this way and then back to the bottom and this way okay hello i'm a snake hey chicho would you ever consider selling new mutants issue number 98 i saw a video of you with multiple copies of it before would you sell it for sure i do want to sell it but the price difference between graded and not graded is so different i i should send them in to be graded because it gets a way higher value right um hello i'm a snake for sure i want to i want to sell one and i was going to sell a raw copy but the the different difference between raw copy and graded copies is so grand so grand right but yeah i do sell comic books to generate more money so i can buy more comic books right i invest in what i know right and we do this stuff so we're going to read this we could do a grade of it if you're if you're serious we could do a grading of it we did we actually we did a grading of one but we can do a grading of one uh and you tell me what you offer and if if it's cool maybe we can cut a deal during a live stream simple tron 2000 hopefully he keeps taco bell down there haha <laughs> got to be the best emote <laughs> smoking <laughs> okay ready for this so lucifer turns to dream and the mortals i ask you why tell me tell me that why dream replies why what first among the fallen why do they blame me for all their little failings lucifer replies they use my name as if i spend my entire day sitting on their shoulders forcing them to commit acts they would otherwise find repulsive quote the devil made me do it end quote i have never made one of them do anything never they live their own tiny lives i do not live their lives for them and then they die and they come here having transgressed against what they believe to be right and expect us to fulfill their desire for pain and retribution i don't make them come here they talk of me going around and buying souls like a like a fishwife come market day never stopping to ask themselves why i need no souls and how can anyone own a soul no they belong to themselves they just hate to have to face up to that he has a point he has a point right. crack says great page great page gang if you have never ever read sandman neil gaiman sandman do yourself a favor read this series read this series okay read this series should we look at more comics? 
<laughs> are we doing for time? I don't know what my timing is. Oh, wow. We've already been an hour and 20 minutes. Wow. We've gone through. I got four. I got five short boxes here. We've gone through one. <laughs> Readily available at your library, I'm sure. Yeah. And Crack has got a great point. Sandman, Neil Gaiman, Sandman, you could pick up at your local library. They have it there. You can read it there. Really? Okay. Yeah, we do. We do. Okay, I got to put one of these short boxes down. Oh, okay, you know what? Let me do this. Crack, did you see this? <laughs> Can never have enough of comics. Uh, X, I agree with you. I agree with you. Like, really? I agree. Let's put this. Okay, we're going to put this. <laughs> I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this here for now. Let me see which one of these I'm going to grab. Let me check it out. just random we've picked this one yeah let's do it here let's put it here okay let me show you these comics hold on let me take these out and i add this kind of stuff just to keep the comics tight right You didn't pick it up. I had to pick it up, brother. I picked up both ver uh, alternate covers. Random grab. Crack. My weekly pull list is pretty tiny these days. Been getting lots of back issues and graphic novels. Nice crack. Yeah, I've reduced my, as you know, I've reduced my uh, pull list. Huge. I really reduced it. These draconian mandates are definitely heard in comic book stores uh because i'm spending way less way less they're hitting the economy for my end anyway and my partners right love a good cover love a good cover i agree unused time james okay gang let's do more let me put this where am i gonna put this here i'm gonna put this over here hopefully that stays good V.E. Schwab, Extraordinary, number two. And this is the Tesla story, I believe so. Nikola Tesla. Uh, a female that had a relationship with Nikola Tesla. MFing, number two. MFing, number two. Alternate cover great great animated movie i'm having number two cabbage pack kid variant crack doll crook daredevil 33 bunny mask number three white number two batman 111 this is a new character molly something this is eve variant cover i believe this is the one in ten i forget which Eve issue it is. It might be two, three, four, something like that. Hulk forty nine. No, I haven't seen No Way Home. I haven't seen No Way Home yet. I saw the trailer. It looks amazing. Thank you for the follow late forty one. Basilisk, Basilisk, 
watching they live was my first experience it showed me <laughs> that could be they live is amazing movie cinnamon cinnamon number one this is a great cover fantastic looks beautiful i don't know what it's about is mfers uh the movie to watch while enjoying uh, cannabis or something a bit more yeah it's a phenomenal movie brother you're gonna love it <laughs> james anybody else read james's comment you're gonna love it <laughs> red room comic 19 the schwab variant ah if i was a publisher i'd probably do it would you ever do a meetup chicho laugh out loud box we will at some point in the future but many many moons from now i'll try to accumulate enough wealth build by gigantic island and we'll do a meet up there <laughs> crack ah red room never read an issue but have bought each one to support these guys me too it, it, i flipped through the first one by the way i read like a couple of pages and stuff but i i had to drop it crack i had to drop it because i'm cutting back on my pull list thanks to the mandates right thanks to the mandates i had to drop comic books i can't support certain publishers and creators because government is impoverishing from <laughs> society skybound rick grimes 2000 i have no idea why i picked this up but i did confirm base chat i feel at home <laughs> do you feel like mr mr Rapwood? good daredevil 32 <laughs> unused time can i get one plane ticket <laughs> to chicho island no children allowed in chicho island department of truth right and that's not to you unused that time that's sort of a reference to something else that was going on regarding lolita express right not those shenanigans on chicho island those people get the guillotine everybody welcome crack i don't follow you on that line of thought chicho you aren't allowed to visit your comic shop no i'm allowed to visit my comic shop uh, but my partner can no longer work as a nurse because she's choosing bodily autonomy so our family's revenue stream has been cut in half let's say right so we're tightening our belts and one of the places that i'm tightening that we're tightening tightening including many places is my pull list has been decimated right the last book you'll ever read number one first time chat dr goodyear hello hello welcome welcome to our chat alternate cover hey chicho never been here alive and probably won't be again i'm a busy person <laughs> awesome doctor <laughs> take care of the people take care of the people the last book you'll ever read it's just the alternate cover james that's an old uh forge island fortress out in maryland that hasn't been used in ages but it goes for around fifty thousand k fifty thousand k that's good vault undressed covered by this i think this is uh the last book you'll ever read i don't know what this is i picked it up though unused time can't wait for the new doctor strange movie horror is gonna be so refreshing and a superhero call. indeed indeed i hope they do it they do it right berserker number four sweet paprika number one wow we're like 
We're leaving so many comics uh, in the boxes that we're gonna do. So once we go through this box, or almost the whole box is a little bit that's uh, older stuff, and then we'll do some more readings. Okay. You promised me darkness. Beautiful covers. I love these covers for the series. Laugh out loud box in my country at the moment. The electricity is so high, people have trouble paying the bills. It's like $400 a month now. And some really, Sonya verse, which country? Laugh out loud box that's four hundred dollars a month. That's crazy. Skybound Rick Grimes 2000. I have no idea why I bought, but I bought. No idea. Shadow Man number four. I've heard this series is good. I'm picking up all Valiance, of course, but 30 minutes left. Oh man, we got to do at least one more reading. Black Cat number eight. We'll go through this faster. Black Cat number eight. Amazing Spider Man number 71. Mom, this is the first issue, number one from Game of Thrones, the dragon lady writing it. Laugh out loud box is insane. Norway, Norway, you guys have like huge oil in the North Sea. Norway, it's even more for some people. People have to turn down the heat, shower at other places, reduce their cooking. Really laugh out loud box, that's crazy. The Lunar Ladies. dark blood this is the uh, issue number one one in ten alternate cover human detected <laughs> marjorie finnegan temporal criminal number three firefly brand new verse number five boom white number one this is the second print the second print of this series has the beige cover and the first print is the red cover is it a fun read a crack i haven't read it i've been buying it because firefly right campus James, I'm extremely excited for the new Ant Man movie. Cool. Time before time, number three. Movie in production. And it's going to introduce Kang the Conqueror. It's introducing Kang. Nice. My absolute favorite Marvel villain. Is it? Your favorite Marvel villain is Kang. Mine is uh, Carnage. Mine is Carnage. Uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Dark Raider, number 14. Haha, <laughs> Trailer Park Boys. Trailer Park Boys. If you're a Canadian, you have better have picked up this comic. Greetings, Dr. P. How are you doing? Crack, did you get Trailer Park Boys? Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> Nightwing, 82. First time chat. That's awesome. <laughs> A big star. The girl who electrified Tesla. A crack. Ah, 
I didn't. I had no idea it existed. A Canadian classic. A Canadian classic. Bubbles is a boss. <laughs> Too funny. You guys make me crack up. Moon Knight number one. Lava lava. You should see the politicians trying to solve this problem. It's pretty funny. Politicians suck. Really. First time chat. You love your job, man. Continue. <laughs> Indeed, indeed. Oh, here we go. Okay, this, this. Okay, let me pull out these ones. Let me put these guys here. Balancing things out. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I just did. <laughs> He was post Kang. He already uh, lived the life where he wins at the end. Ha ha. Ha ha. Issue number six. Horror comic from Mitch. Bunny mask number two. Eve, number three. I've heard great things about this series. Spare parts. James, I love the concept that a mortal man was just simply manipulating time to become the supreme ruler of the universe and his biggest uh, threats his own self because of how powerful he is nice tarna tarna if you guys have ever watched heavy metal animation you'll know this lady it's from heavy metal comics right mfers number one cabbage patch variant The spare parts is a plant tear ripoff. I don't know. I don't know this one. I don't know. Is it the exact same silhouette? Really? It could be a. It's not a. I wouldn't call it a ripoff. Comic books. They. There are some artists that do ripoffs, but these would be more tributes, right? So it would be a tribute to that guaranteed if it is a heavy metal movie another canadian classic indeed black cherry yeah so bixie would be a tribute if it's the font and everything is the same eve Bellary, number one. No ghost in Hiroshima. And Ninjak, number one. And this was a little bit shy of a short box. I have some older comics here that I didn't show you. Okay. Let me put this here. Oh, adjust myself. Let me put these comics back so they don't get accidentally hurt.
do this. We'll fix up the rest later. Oh, oh wow, we're running short. We're running short. We're running short. We're running short. What do we got? Reading, reading. Let me put this. Let's see. We can do one more reading. Let's do another one that's related to politics and stuff. I'll show you what we're leaving on the table. I was going to do a reading from Mr. Hero. Okay. Neil, um, Neil Gaiman's, but he, he didn't write it. I was going to do a reading from the last one. Okay. Uh, I was going to show you the price. There's, uh, this is an independent uh, comic book series, right, from mid-1980s, right? It was a fun read, but at the back... And that's the back of it and the back inside it has like a price guide to it uh, we've got 19 minutes left cool the sisterhood of steel I was gonna do a reading from this it's actually pretty good I'll put this one if we have time we'll do this one as well uh, lost souls I was gonna do a reading from this it's pretty cool It's related to like a, a biblical thing but we did a Sandman one so why not but let's do a reading from Omega Man. This is, by the way, gang, if you've never read Omega Man, the original series that came out in the 1980s, as far as I'm concerned, it's one of the greatest soap operas, uh, space operas uh, in comic books ever written. It's fantastic sci-fi, great comic book series. Love it. Crack. Oh, man, the last one. I really enjoyed that miniseries. Really, yeah, it beautiful artwork for the last one. Beautiful artwork. Like, really phenomenal artwork like here I'll, let me show you the artwork on it oh no, no this is a lost soul where's the last one? Oh, there it is like look at the artwork on this right very trippy dark right very dark slow paced comic slow paced comic but let's do omega man this is omega man number 30 okay let me find the pages i've uploaded here Boop. we're going to read a little bit on this and this is a backup story so not a backup story but sort of like a more additional story about some of the characters aliens in the series right and it's it's a one two three uh four pager okay so let's read this four pager okay. bring up the first one long long ago the barbarians of sim semalak were plagued by hordes of monsters mindless orgs in their never-ending struggle, the Saranans evolved into two distinct forms. The puny vassals who harvested the uh, fil 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 filgaberries, milked the rum bats, constructed the great castles, and the humble vil villages smelt of the ore and forged the blades. And the great brawny warriors who guarded the vassals from the deprivation of the orcs. But the cost of this defense was high, for the warriors were absolute master of the land and could be refused nothing. The couple in the back, the lady whispering quietly, He will devour all our winter stores husband replies better our stores than our children the warrior stands up enough food the great warrior has other hunger no please the wife yells the husband pleads please my lord you cannot sure i can't see ha <laughs> ha throws the husband to the side 
among the among the vassals there grew a secret longing for freedom from the domination of the warriors for something that could make every man a warrior a longing for an equalizer The smithy beneath the castle of Lord Maxgold, the un, uh, the the munif, munif, munificent. My lord commands that I forge ever sturdier swords. I pray this new power powder will temper the steel to boom smacks it blows up his hammer blows up the iron sword and much and not much later tinker you sure you're ready oh yes my lord he's created a gun too bad release the org oh they brought a cage they released the org the tinker is scared. Boom. Shoots him in the heart. The orc drops. Oh, I got to show you this. The next page. Get too caught up in it. The orc drops. Tinker, how you kill that big orc? The master asks. This device, Lord, emits a ball of metal of great velocity i call it a shot the ball strikes the org killing it from afar with a weapon such as this my lord no man warrior or vassal need ever fear the orgs again the tinker replies hey hey good work tinker the warriors cuddle him just think the tinker says with this device, even the lowliest of vessels can surpass the greatest of swordsmen. And that's why I call my uh, invention the equalizer. W what do you say? Vessels beating warriors? The two warriors are looking at each other. The master is thinking. The master is thinking. that's so the master asks tell me tinker any other vassals know about this equalizer no my lord i came directly to you the tinker says good thinking the master replies guards take him out and kill him and smash up his weapon <laughs> they carry him away the tinker yells but lord maxgold my equalizer ends the threat of orcs forever. Not all men can stand as equals, my lord. Equals, the master replies. Puh. That would change everything. We already got a system that works. What do you say, boys? We got a system here or what? Here's to the system, the warriors reply. The system, the warriors cheer. At last, all systems fail and are suppl supplanted outside the hall. The rings with laughter, Vega silently awaits. Nice little read. Nice little read, I think. Nice little read. First time chat. Hey, Chicho, finally caught you live. Awesome, Jackie. Jack, my Willie. <laughs> Jack, my Willie. Awesome. And by the way, one of the things I love about this series, the Omega Man series, this series, is the colors. The colors from the 1980s in comic books were absolutely brilliant. Were absolutely brilliant. Especially Omega Man. It was vibrant. It was very pretty. Very pretty. Fun. Fun. I hope you guys have good drinks and good food. 
when I deal with comics, I don't do any, I don't do any uh, eating. So I didn't bring any snacks. Mr. F word, until another vessel invents a gun and doesn't say anything to the Lord. Ha <laughs> ha, indeed, indeed, right? That's why mergers and acquisitions in our society right now and economics are one of the biggest problems we have in our societies, right? Because when disruptive innovation comes up with technology that challenges the monopolies, all the monopolies do is buy this new company they offer them billions of dollars technology right and if it challenges their money makers they don't release it right and if they can tinker with it a little bit to make sure that it's not as good as the original planned off the lessons that's what they do right fun gang that was fun we needed to do a comic book live stream and i love and it gave me the opportunity just to think comics for a bit because i've been thinking economics politics and stuff for a long time now since you know obviously the uh live streams are indicating nine minutes left nine minutes left let's call the stream gang let's call the stream thank you very much for being here i hope you enjoyed the readings i hope we got through two boxes basically of comics of what i've been pulling for the last few weeks couple of months i guess uh and in the future we'll do more we'll do more at some point maybe i'll try to organize a little bit i doubt it anytime soon but we're definitely going to start doing comic book readings again gang uh in the new year comic book readings are back on the table so we're going to start doing more comic book readings and i'm going to try to get into a nice little groove okay but the streams will have to be reduced a little bit because i picked up more students to uh, make sure we have enough our family has enough funds coming in uh to make sure we can maintain and uh unfortunately that's it is what it is right the system is putting pressure on us right now on our family so we become anti-fragile and be like water as bruce bruce lee would say right um aside from that gang i hope you have a fantastic next few days i'm going to upload some segments in the next few days as well and for christmas we'll upload this stream to our video sharing platforms and let it sit for a while right aside from that gang if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho uh steve richard thanks chicho my pleasure my pleasure elder god student payroll is more important student payroll is more important uh it pays the bills it pays the bills indeed uh and gang you can follow the work on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho and you can support the work there that's probably the best way to support this work right now and for those of you that are supporting this work thank you very much for the support gang i appreciate it a lot and i hope you enjoy the content uh that's being put out um and there's a lot more coming once we do a little shuffle stay afloat don't go broke indeed i won't we won't we gotta remain our warriors right we gotta make sure we can fight gang we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at for those of you that are working this supporting this work on twitch gang showing up to the live streams mod for taking care of business gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of the support we're getting on these two platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing elder god i'm waiting for the circuit breakers to arrive <laughs> indeed indeed we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gap parlor bitcloud and getter and we do have a discord page you're definitely welcome to join us on discord and participate in the discussions that are taking place there and there's a lot of discussion taking place some comic books some politics economics some music some food some fitness right so it's a fun place to be and i hang out there a lot james it was fun being part of the chat for a live i feel as though living as the uh on the east coast i don't see your lives too often but i'll try to be back here more often awesome thanks james thanks for popping in and if you have any times and this goes out straight out invitation to you guys if you're on our discord and on our patreon if there are any specific times you would like me to stream a certain type of content uh, make it my time so i don't have to do the calculations let us know on discord 
recommendations um, suggestions or in general and I'll try to do my best to have a live stream set up there and if you have a favorite type of stream you want us to do let me know which stream it would be right everyone getting there uh, getting there happy before it comes <laughs> funny we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho is a podcast and these podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and google play and we will be uploading this live stream to censor to pitchute or rumble and odyssey so you can watch this video on demand live stream for two weeks on twitch and automatically gets taken off on Twitch uh, if you're uh, uh, my standing anyway. <laughs> and then, uh, but it will be permanently on Sensor 2, Bitchu, Rumble, and Odyssey. And um, I probably pull out a couple of segments out of this one as well and put them on uh, those platforms. Aside from that, gang, I hope you guys have a fantastic next few days. I'll see you on Discord. And we'll be doing live streams next week. Um, after the christmas break the weekend all right uh gonna be spending some time eating some food and socializing with family and friends i hope you have a fantastic holiday gang and i'll see you guys in the next live stream and on discord bye for now